On day one, I spawned in as a baby diamond shark. Whoa, why am I diamond? In front of me swam both of my parents, and we were all inside of our ocean home. Son, you're diamond. Oh my, this means he's special. Special? Just then, a blast occurred, and a bunch of scuba divers swarmed down. I watched as all of them started to attack and kill the people of my home. Son, you must swim now. A scuba diver much larger than the rest submerged. <laughs> yes! Swim! Swim, you pathetic animals! Soon you will die under me, Atomic! He turned his attention to my parents. Mom? Dad? Before I could do anything, he shot out a powerful attack, killing both of them instantly. No! A poor diamond shark? <laughs> I bet you're scared. Men, kill the rest. I'll take care of him myself. Okay, time to swim. I started to swim away fast with Atomic chasing right behind me. On day two, I was doing everything I could to get away from the scuba diver. You will not escape me. Since I was a baby, I still wasn't fast at all. Ah, how am I gonna lose this guy? Just then, I came across a large scary crevice inside of the ocean. Oh no, knowing I had no other choice, I swam deep inside of it. Once at the bottom, I found myself in an underwater cavern. Okay, I think I lost him. A diamond shark? What the? I turned around only to see a large diamond lady floating before me. Um, who are you? Oh, little one, I am the diamond goddess. I see the diamond has finally fused itself with a sea creature. Yeah, I don't know why. My parents said I was special, but then that horrible man. You are special. It is up to you to stop him and his large crew and save us sea creatures. Go find the first of the diamond segments, the diamond tooth. Diamond tooth? I don't even know where to start. Just then, we heard explosions going off in the distance. I think the shark went this way. Oh no. Go now, shark. I will be in contact with you real soon. The goddess then summoned a tidal wave and pushed me away. Ah! Ah, ah, my head. I looked around and found myself now inside of a coral reef area. Ah, stay away from me, you feathered freak. Who is that? I swam closer and was able to spot a bird flying around and attacking a tiny seahorse. Oh no, he needs help. Hey, you, cut it out. Ah, look at this tough guy. No! The bird then began to fly around me and try to peck at me. Ah! I tried my best to fight back. I hit it exactly when it swooped down, causing it to freak out. I'm out of here. The bird flew off. Ha! Take that. Hey, thanks for helping me out there. Of course. Us sea creatures have to stick together, right? Hey, why are you out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, I'm the only one left in my family. Our sunken ship home got raided by a sea monster. He took everything, even our diamond tooth. Wait, you guys have the diamond tooth? If I help you take him down, do you think I can have it? Absolutely. My name's Sheldon. Follow me this way. On day four, Sheldon and I swam our way through the ocean until we reached a large sunken ship inside of it. Whoa, you used to live here? Precisely, but be warned, the scary beast now lives inside. That doesn't sound scary at all. Okay, wish me luck. I swam my way through. I was able to make my way inside of a lost treasure room. At the other end of it lied the diamond tooth. Score! Just then, a large sea monster emerged from the depths. An intruder? You must die! No! The sea monster charged in and started to attack. His bite did a lot of damage to me, but thanks to my shark-like reflexes, I was able to dodge around. I tried my best to fight back, but at the end of the day, I was just too weak. I need to get stronger. Wait, the diamond tooth. I dodged the monster's attack and started to swim towards it. No! 
I managed to pick it up and something strange started to happen. I gained five hearts, grew larger in size, and my diamond teeth grew out to be a lot sharper than before. I now could do a fierce bite attack. Awesome. The monster charged in. I bit the monster extremely hard, which caused its defeat. Take that. Whoa, you look way stronger. Though I'm a little sad to see my home turned into something like this place. Don't worry, Sheldon. I think I have an idea. On day five, I brought Sheldon over to a large coral cave. This place is perfect. Using the materials we took from the sunken ship, I was able to craft myself some stone tools. From there, Sheldon and I went out and gathered lots of materials to make our very own own shark base. With my new friend's help, we were able to make ourselves a nice little home. I knew we would have enemies down the line, so I built out the shark entrance to resemble a shark's face. Because I just acquired the diamond tooth, I added sharp teeth to it to scare off any intruders. This place is gonna come along great. Just then, a white flash spread throughout our entire base, and the diamond goddess was there. Hey, this space will do. I will be here to help you on your journey, Shark. I can see that you have acquired the diamond tooth. All that's left now is the diamond gill, the diamond fin, the diamond eye, and the diamond heart. Great. How hard can that be? Suddenly, a small fish swam into our cave. Who are you? Please, sir, help us. Our home, it's being destroyed. Okay, okay. Calm down and show me where. On day six, I followed the fish until we reached a small fish town. Be afraid. I am the alpha predator. <laughs> I watched as a saltwater crocodile chase throughout the town, hurting its people just for fun? Hey, knock it off! What is this? A diamond shark? You think you're stronger than me, don't you? I never said that. You didn't have to. I'll show you who the strongest sea creature really is. The crocodile then charged in and began to attack. Uh, cut it out. It didn't listen though and would bite at me any chance it had. So I used my new bite and was able to put up a fight. He was too strong though. Ah, uh, I need help. Just then, a mermaid emerged from one of the homes and started to fight with me. Stay back! With the mermaid's help, we were able to catch the crocodile by surprise, causing him to leave. I'll let this slide for now, but soon enough, you'll find out who the strongest really is. Hey, uh, thanks for the help there. You are the one who came in and defended my home. That was brave. Thank you. Of course. I'm glad to see that the rumors are true. The diamond shark is real. You know, my merfolks have possession over a diamond artifact. The Diamond Gill. Because you saved my home, I would like to repay you the favor and take you there. On day seven, the mermaid brought me over to her mermaid kingdom, the Scales Towers. Trespasser! He's with me, genius. Fine, but if you try anything, I will turn you into shark stew! Okay, noted. We went through the kingdom until we reached a main throne room. Inside of it was a large mermaid king. My name is King Kong. Oh, now what brings you here? I am in need of the diamond gill. I was told that you can give it to me. <laughs> we wouldn't just give it to you. Here, follow me. I followed the king, and he showed me how his kingdom was ruined. My empire was once before beautiful, but then it was all ruined by those evil scuba divers. But there is a way to return it to its former glory. Oh yeah? How so? Find me the coral essence that lies deep within the caverns of Lost. If you find it and bring it to me, then I will exchange it for the diamond gift. Okay, it sounds like you've got yourself a deal. On day eight, I followed the king's instructions until I was able to find the entryway of the caverns of Lost. Let's hope I don't get lost. I started swimming through, but I accidentally swam above a patch of magma blocks. Oh no, I'm stuck. I got sucked down below and started to take damage from the blocks. Using all of my strength, I was able to break free. Ah, uh, that was close. I calmed down and noticed far ahead of me lied the 
coral essence. I quickly swam over to it and heard a huge echo throughout the cave. Caves just do that, right? Deciding to ignore it, I turned my attention back to the essence and picked it up. Because of this, I got trapped inside of the room and the worst thing that could happen to a shark took place. The entire room drained. I was now vulnerable on the floor. What am I gonna do now? On days 9 to 10, I was losing hearts and fast. I need to find a way to get out of here. I started to hop around trying to find an exit, but there was no way out. I thought it couldn't get any worse, but oh, was I wrong. A coral guardian dropped down in front of me. A thief, one that will pay the consequences. You don't understand Stand. I need it. Shut up! The guardian became angry and began to attack. Because I was on land, I was much slower than before. But I knew I still had some fight in me. The guardian kept hitting and I kept biting. I knew that it was either me or him. And with one final bite, he was down for the count. Because of this, water filled up within the room again. And the entryway opened. Ah, thank goodness. On days 11 to 12, I brought back the coral essence to the Mermaid King. Perfect. The king then swam down below his castle and placed the essence on top of a root platform. Then it began to spin around the coral wildly. Suddenly, the entire kingdom was transformed and now back to its full former glory. Whoa, now this is a mermaid kingdom. Because of you, Diamond Shark, my kingdom is revived. Here, follow me. The king brought me back to his throne and handed me the diamond gill. Because of this, I began to transform. I gained five hearts, felt way stronger, and my diamond skin hardened. Whoa, what just happened? I believe with that, you are now allowed to breathe. Not just in water, but in air. This would have been helpful yesterday, but better late than never. Thank you. No, diamond shark. Thank you you. On days 13 to 14, I was making my way back home when I heard a loud ship horn go off in the distance. What the? I surfaced above water and noticed a large outpost being built by the shoreline. What can that be? Using my new air breathing ability, I was able to jump on the shoreline. Okay, time to hop. I hopped throughout the shoreline, but it felt so weird. I reached a clearing right next to their outpost. It was surrounded by evil scuba divers, and standing before them was Atomic. Yes, keep building. This will be our new headquarters, and that ocean will be ours. Sir, yes, sir. Soon enough, our weaponry will be able to take out those creatures. No problem at all. Weapons? What weapons? I wanted to rush in, but I knew that I wasn't strong enough yet. I decided to go further into their base to investigate. I jumped on further until I found a room that was holding a bunch of strange octopi. Oh man, I feel so weak. Oh my goodness. I have to save them. I went around to their cage and broke them free. A diamond shark? What are you doing on land? No time. Let's escape before it's too late. On days 15 to 16, I brought the octopi back to base. I could tell they were feeling much better now. With the help of Sheldon, we went throughout our home and made them their very own houses to live in. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. We never felt so safe. Afterwards, Sheldon and I made a nice farm for all the people who lived here. We knew as time went on, the more and more our community would grow. I then added on the gills to my diamond shark statue. He was looking better and better by the day. Hey, diamond shark, we really do love it here. I just wish Roger were here to see it. Roger? Who's that? He's our friend, but he was separated from us and taken on a cruise ship. They plan to turn him into a nice octopus cuisine. He apparently knew about a diamond fin of some sort, and the scuba divers did not like that. He knows where the diamond fin is? I need to find him. If you tell me where that cruise ship is heading off, towards maybe i can go and save your friend 
before it's too late. On days 17 to 18, I set off in search of the cruise ship. I was told it was heading towards a tropical island east of my base. I swam and eventually was able to find it, slowly making its way through the ocean. Great. How am I supposed to get on that thing? I swam around, trying to find a way inside, and thankfully, the back end of it had water pouring from its edges. I used it and was able to climb on the deck. Okay, Diamond Shark, just act natural. Oh my goodness, it's a shark! Jump overboard! Ah! Well, that backfired. I hopped throughout the deck, scaring everyone in sight. Oh my goodness! Honey, jump! Leave the cats! Yeah, yeah, get over it. Eventually, I was able to make it inside and spotted the kitchen. Score! Oh, I cannot wait to make you into calamari. So tasty. <laughs> Who is that? Oui, oui, I love this gig. Those scuba men capture the animals, and I get to have dinner. So perfect. I don't think so. I jumped in and was now face to face with the chef. A shark? Actually, no, my next meal. On days 19 to 20, the chef and I started to fight. I thought this was gonna be easy, but he used his wooden spoon to shoot food at me? Ah, cut it out! <laughs> Taste my five star cuisines! Five stars? Yeah, right! Because I said this, the chef got even more mad. I started to fight back and slowly but surely lured him back over to the main deck. He swung one last time and I I dodged it. Then I was able to bite him and knock him off the edge. No! Ha! See you later! I made my way back over to the kitchen and let Roger out of his cage. Oh my goodness, you saved me. Thank you so much. Of course. Your friends told me about you. They're gonna be happy to know that you're okay. They also mentioned that you may know about the diamond fin. Yeah, I do. I was roaming around one time and I spotted it. However, another type of shark picked it up. He did? Can you show me where? One sec. The octopus then picked up an empty piece of paper from the kitchen and threw it on the floor. Then, using his ink, he drew out a map. Whoa! Just follow this, and it will take you exactly where you need to go. On days 21 to 23, I sent Roger back to my cave and followed the map. It took a while, but eventually, I was able to make my way to an icy tundra ocean. <laughs> it is so cold! I swam through and eventually found myself in the middle of an iced over den? Wait, a shark lives here? Not just any shark. THE shark. Whoa, a hammerhead. Listen, I heard you have the diamond fin, and I need it to help all of us. Ha! Why would you be our savior? I'm more than capable and more worthy. Come on. You know, it isn't about who's capable. Can't we just talk this out? Shark to shark? No. If you wish to take the diamond fin from me, then you must best me in a competition. Whoever wins keeps the diamond fin. Okay, Hammerhead. You are on. What is this competition? The Hammerhead signaled me to follow him, and I did. We then reached a starting point to a racing course. Beat me in this race, and the fin is yours. But beware, Diamond Shark. I'm the fastest of them all. On days 24 to 26, the race was about to begin. Yeah, this does not look like the safest race course. Are those? Yeah, they're water mines left by those horrible scuba divers. But turns out they make a very interesting race course. Get ready to lose. Three, two, one, go. Wait, the race begun. And even though it was dangerous, I knew that I had had to win. <laughs> You are supposed to save us sea creatures? I played the race slow and steady, but at this rate, I was going to lose. That was until the hammerhead swam so fast that he accidentally swam into two mines at once. Watch out! This caused a huge explosion. No! I swam over to see if he was okay, but all that I was met with was a blocked off icy cave entrance. Hello? Hey! Please, someone help! 
Oh no, he's in trouble. Hold on. On days 27 to 30, I was able to swim around the cave and find an alternative route in. As I entered, I heard a loud screech emerge from the cave tunnels. We are not alone. Hammerhead, uh, does this mean I won the race? Nothing? I swam throughout the tunnels, trying to find him anywhere. That's when I finally found him in an open room, being attacked by an ice wraith. <laughs> this be my hunted cave? <laughs> Help me! Hold on! I swam in and started to defend my fellow shark. The wraith's attacks were tough, but I knew if we worked together, we could take it down. With one more bite, the ice wraith was down. Ha! We did it. No, you did. You saved my life. Maybe you were right. Maybe you are meant to save this ocean. Just then, the hammerhead threw me over the diamond fin. I absorbed it, which caused me to upgrade. My fins grew much stronger, and I now swam way faster. Awesome. On days 31 to 35, I made it back to base with the hammerhead. Thanks for bringing me with you. My area was way too dangerous and cold. No worries. From there, I went over and built him a nice ice-themed house. I made sure that the entrance was wide enough to fit, well, uh, his head. Hey, watch it. Uh, sorry. From there, I went to the main entryway and upgraded my shark head by adding a nice, fierce-looking fin. Fozo, there you are. I'm very pleased with your progress. I see you only need two more diamond artifacts. That's right. Then Atomic is down for the count. Bozo! Oh, looking good. I just wish I came here with better news. Oh no, what's wrong? My acquaintances have reported to me that the saltwater crocodile is back at it. He has been terrorizing more and more ocean creatures by the day. That doesn't sound good. We need to put a stop to him, fast. His last location was apparently at an eel village, not too far from here. If that's the case, then it's time to pay him a visit. On days 36 to 38, I arrived at an eel village, only to see it was in complete devastation. Everything was destroyed, and all of the eels were sad. Uh, this sucks! I wandered through it until I heard a small, scared voice. My home. My beautiful home. Who is that? Oh my, a baby eel. Ah, don't hurt me like that dumb crocodile did. He, he took me away from my family and destroyed my home. I'm so sorry, that sounds horrible. Just then, a large whoosh sounded off behind me. But when I turned around, there was nothing there. Um, hello? Then, from my side, I was bit by the crocodile. Ah, I noticed that he was a lot larger than before. Oh no. Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the diamond shark, we meet again. Yes, we do. I am here to put an end to all of this. I'd like to see you try. I was about to charge in, but out of nowhere, he swam back and shot me with something. Ah, what was that? My way to defeat you. <laughs> oh, no. Everything went blurry. On days 39 to 41, I awoke inside of a large saltwater swamp area. Ah, what happened? He trapped us, Fozo. We are done for. From the cage, I looked around his home and saw a bunch of bones and a book? What is that supposed to be? Oh no, we have to find a way out of this cage. Now, just then, the crocodile showed his face before us. Just a few more hours and those scuba divers will take care of you. Wait, what? You're working for those maniacs? Why? Oh, Diamond Shark, you don't understand the bounty they have over your head. If I bring you to them, then I can benefit from it greatly. No, stop. You can't trust them. They'll betray you. The crocodile it all didn't listen though wow i guess you'll never truly prove you're stronger than me then huh what did you say what are you doing 
play along. Yeah, you heard me. You give me up to those men, you will never really know. From the way I see it, you are doing this because you are scared to fight me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you heard me. The crocodile then swam so fast at the cage that he destroyed it. Forget the bounty. Let's fight to the death. On days 42 to 44, the crocodile and I began our fight. Usually, I had an advantage in open water, but because we were fighting in close quarters, this fight was a lot more challenging. You're in my terrain now. He hit me out of the water and continued to attack. Ah! I did everything I could to fight back, but he just felt like he was still too strong for me. Oh no. Just then, my new eel friend yelled out from the water. Lure him back in. Okay, here goes nothing. I started to run back to the water, and he was chasing right after me. Get back here. I jumped in, and he followed closely behind. As soon as he jumped inside, the eel started to help me by zapping him with its electric powers. Ah! Whoa, thanks. Together, the eel and I were overwhelming the crocodile. No, no! He was down. Hopefully with him gone, we can have a better chance against Atomic. I then looked back at the book I saw earlier and decided to pick it up. What is this? It's a deal, crocodile. You bring me that diamond shark and I will reward you greatly. You better capture him by the time my men are done with that diamond lighthouse. The diamond lighthouse? Oh, that place. I know all about it. You do? Yeah, it is said to hold a special diamond artifact known as the diamond eye. Huh, okay. I need to go there as soon as possible. From the sound of things, it's already packed with Atomic's men. Don't worry, Fozo. I will tell you where you need to go. On days 45 to 47, I sent the baby eel back home and followed her instructions to the diamond lighthouse. Whoa, this has to be it. We gotta keep searching, man. Searching? They have to be looking for the diamond eye. I swam closer, but made sure to keep my distance. Just then, Atomic himself walked out into the opening. Men, you guys need to fix this lighthouse now! Sir, we're trying our best and- What did you say? Do you not understand? All of your useless searching doesn't matter. Once this lighthouse is fixed, we will find the diamond eye. Uh, sir, yes, sir. Wait, so if I want the diamond eye, I have to fix the lighthouse. But how am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Those dumb fishermen people, don't they know that a lighthouse needs light in order to work? Who are you? Oh, me? I'm just an old grumpy turtle. I used to admire the shot of the lighthouse every day until one day its light just shut off. If you can tell me how to, I can go and fix it for you. Well, you scary old sharky you, I may know exactly where you can find a new light source inside the magma trench. On days 48 to 50, I swam around the nearby shoreline until, aha, found it. In front of me lied a large magma trench. Okay, Fozo, just keep swimming. I swam inside of it until it got foggier and foggier. A light source is gonna be down here? I swam through the fog and couldn't find anything. Ah, this is so frustrating. Just then, I spotted a light far off in the distance. Wait, there it is. I got closer and closer and the orb just became larger. Aha! Now, just to collect it. I was about to touch it, but then I realized something wasn't right. Is that breathing? Oh my goodness! A nice little anglerfish! <laughs> fish started to bite at me and attack. Uh, stay back. The fish wasn't listening and just wanted me dead. Okay, enough of this. I used my newly found swimming speed to my advantage and swam around the angler fish, confusing it. Then, while confused, I would bite at it from the sides. Take that. The anglerfish couldn't keep up, and with one more hit, it was down for the count. Because of this, it dropped a light orb. 
hopefully with this, the lighthouse can work again and give me the diamond eye. On days 51 to 53, I swam back up from the trench. Okay, now I need to figure out how to get past these men. I looked around and noticed that Atomic was gone. Well, at least I have that to work with. I waited for men to move past the shores. And once the timing was right, I hopped on the land. Okay, next up the top of the lighthouse. I snuck past their camp and made it to the stairway. Hop after hop, I made it up the stairs, but out of nowhere, a seagull started to fly at me. Ow, hey, back off. Ooh, a fish. I'm a shark, you idiot. Hey guys, you hear something? Oh my goodness. Um, hi. The diamond shark, he's up there. Get him. Oh no, I hopped faster and was able to reach the top in time. Come on, come on, please work. I put the light orb on the lighthouse and because of this, the entire thing began to transform. The lighthouse's light was now fully operating again. A light beamed out and shot towards the southeast. Wait. It's showing me where the diamond eye is. I was about to make my way down, but notice the men were on their way up. Oh no, I'm trapped. On days 54 to 56, I was stuck on top of the lighthouse. I looked over the edge and the fall down looked very long. Hurry before he gets away. I guess I really don't have much of a choice. Okay, here goes nothing. Ah! Thankfully, I barely hit the water. Thank goodness. Clark, jump after him. What? No way. Just do it. Okay. Ah! All right, I'll just take the stairs. While they were busy, I knew that I had to follow where the light pointed off towards. I swam off southeast and noticed a diamond looking door that was opened. Is this a sanctuary of some sorts? I entered inside and waiting on a pedestal was the diamond eye. Perfect. I swam over and was about to get it when out of nowhere, I got blasted aside. Ah! Scuba divers all filled the room and I was now surrounded. We finally done it. The diamond shark is ours. Just as I thought all hope was lost, they were all blasted aside by one of their own men. What the? Diamond Shark, quick, follow me if you want to live. On days 57 to 59, I followed the strange scuba diver back to an underwater hideout of some sorts. Who are you? And why did you help me? My name is Steve, and uh, let's take cover first. We did as he said, and eventually swam into his home. Inside of it was a family? This is my wife and son. We're all hiding out to remain safe. Listen, Shark, I am truly sorry for my actions and for the actions of the rest of the scuba team. Why? Why apologize now? Atomic, he's gone too far. It's cruel and he needs to be stopped. I agree, but the diamond eye, I couldn't grab it in time. Scuba Steve then threw the eye right before me. Wait, how did you- I'm full of surprises. Thanks. I walked over and absorbed the eye. Because of this, I began to upgrade. I gained five more hearts and felt way tougher than before. I noticed that I now had diamond laser eyes. Awesome. Of course, you'll need to be at your strongest to stop him because I promise you, he's going to stop at nothing. But why? There has to be a reason. Before Atomic went down this path, he had a son. His son was obsessed with the ocean and always wanted to go out and explore. And well, Atomic did that for him. But something tragic happened. His son fell overboard and the sea creatures within it killed him. Atomic now will do whatever he can to take full control of the ocean for his son and destroy everything that would hurt him. Oh. 
my. Well, we have to fight back. None of this is right. Just then, we heard nearby sounds of explosions. The scuba men, they aren't far. Come on, your family is not safe here. On days 60 to 62, I brought Scuba Steve and his family back home at my base. As I entered, I noticed that the baby eel I saved earlier had a new home as well. This place rocks. I'm glad you like it. I then went out and got the right amount of materials to make the scuba family a house to stay in. I even made sure to hollow it out from the inside so that they can breathe. Thank you, Fozo. Of course. After I finished, I went out and added eyes to my shark entrance. And just like that, he is looking like a real shark now. Uh, are those scuba divers in our home? Yes, they are, but it's okay. He saved my life. They are good people. Okay, if you say so. I see you have all your diamond upgrades, young one. And rest assured, I know you can do the last one, the diamond heart. You do? How? Why tell you when I can show you? Follow me. On days 63 to 66, the water goddess brought me deep underground. Where are we going? Patience, Fozo, patience. We then reached a large, lush underwater cavern, and inside of it was a tall, diamond-locked passageway. Whoa. After a second glance, though, I realized something was wrong with it. The entryway is decayed because of those horrible men and their mission. It must be fixed. And when it is, I shall bring you to no other than the Diamond Ocean itself. Diamond Ocean? How am I supposed to fix it? By finding the sacred aura wand. With its touch, this passageway shall be opened. But I fear it is in the wrong hands. Oh no, Atomic has it, doesn't he? Precisely. You must go find Atomic's headquarters and steal that wand back. On day 67 to 70, I had to go back towards Atomic's headquarters. I swam my way there, and when I arrived, I was in complete shock. His headquarters was fully built. Oh my. Concentrate, Fozo. I gathered my thoughts and slowly but surely snuck my way through the base. There were men guarding it everywhere, but thankfully... Two sheep, three sheep. They were sleeping on duty. Perfect. I managed to find a locked entryway that looked like a trophy room. Oh, come on. It has to be in here. I kept trying to enter when I got hit from behind. Ah! I turned around only to see a large guard keeping watch. Oh, boy. You are done for. The guard charged in and started to attack. Thankfully, though, I had my laser eyes. I shot at him with them, and it pushed him back a lot. With one more shot, he was done for. Whoa, these new eyes are awesome. The guard dropped a key, and with it, I was able to open the door and head inside the trophy room. On day 71 to 76, I was searching around inside of Atomic's trophy room, and there were horrible things everywhere. Shark teeth? Bones? His trophies are his kills. What a monster! Come on, where can that wand be? Wake up, you idiots! Who's guarding the treasure? Oh no, Atomic, he's here! I have to hurry! I tried my best and thankfully was able to find a very mystical looking staff. This is it, the Aurora Wand. I picked it up and was ready to leave when- Oh, Diamond Shark. So nice of you to come all the way here just to die. You know, your son would be ashamed of you. What did you say? Atomic was fueled with rage, and I knew deep down I was not strong enough at all to stop him. Out of instinct, I used the wand. With him being stunned, I knew it was time to go and jumped out to escape. Mark my words, I will get you! On day 77 to 83, I made my way back to the entry room with my newly found wand. Okay, let's hope 
this works. I used it, which caused the entire entryway to heal back to its former glory. Because of this, the entire room began to shake. Uh, what's going on? The doorway opened, and I swam through, only to find myself in a different kind of ocean. Whoa. The floors were made out of pure diamond and everything felt so infinite. This place is amazing, but where am I supposed to go? Follow your heart. My heart? Okay, Fozo, trust it. I trusted my instinct and started to travel through. After a while of swimming, I came across a large diamond temple. This has to be it. I could feel it. I entered, and right in the center of it lied none other than the diamond heart. On days 84 to 90, I began to swim my way to the diamond heart. When out of nowhere, the diamond goddess emerged before me. Bozo, here it is. Your last diamond artifact. Yeah, I was about to grab it and... Not quite yet. All of this time, I've been training you, building you up just to see if you are worthy. But you see, there is one more final trial to all of that. Okay, and what's that? The diamond goddess then began to attack me. Ah, oh no. If you wish to attain the last diamond, you must beat the goddess of diamond herself. I swam around the water, doing my best to avoid her hits. You couldn't have at least warned me? You must deem worthy fight back. You want me to fight back? Fine! I swam around her and started to bite at her every chance I could. But I knew that I had to find a weakness. And thankfully, I found one. Every time she attacked, she had a cooldown. Okay, Fozo. Now, the goddess shot out an attack. And I knew I had to hit her with everything I had. I did and kept attacking each hit harder and harder. Because of this, the diamond goddess struck down and admitted defeat. You, Bozo, you are worthy. Excellent work. She floated away from the diamond and I went over to absorb it. I gained 10 more hearts and grew larger in size. Now that I have all five diamonds, I knew that it was time to take down Atomic. On days 91 to 94, I made it back home to base. I took a second to look at everything I'd fully built up and a sense of pride filled within me. From there, I went off and made up a nice pillar in the center of our cave to resemble the diamond heart. Perfect. I then looked over at the diamond goddess's shrine and noticed that she was gone. Thank you for everything. Fozo, it's getting bad out there. Atomic, his plan, he's finally executing on it. He is hurting a large fish city as we speak. Not if I have anything to say about it. It's time to end this. On days 95 to 99, I swam out far until I reached the large destroyed fish city. I watched as countless scuba divers were swimming through the area, hurting a bunch of different sea creatures. They now had very powerful weaponry by their side. Just as Sheldon said, their plan, they were executing it. I looked past the city, and Atomic was on some sort of platform, giving orders. Yes, yes, clear this area out. I have to stop this. Now, I swam in and started to fight off the scuba divers. Kill the diamond shark! They had high-tech weapons, but with my increase in strength, I was able to take most of them down with ease. We fought back and forth, but with one final shot with my laser eyes, they were all down for the count. I looked forward, and Atomic noticed. It looks like it's just you and me. On day 100, I swam up and was now face to face with Atomic. Your plan is over. You filthy, stupid animal. You guys have taken everything from me and I won't stop until I do the same. Atomic rushed in and began to attack. His hits hurt a lot. I did my best to swim around and fight back. Look, I know that your son was taken from you, but that doesn't mean you have to hurt everyone. Shut up! 
It's not too late to stop this. Please stop. Atomic didn't though. And at this point, I knew it was either me or him. I'm sorry, but I have to. I started to swim around faster and hit harder. I would gain distance and shoot him with my eyes. No, no. With one final blast, I took down Atomic. With him gone, all sea creatures can finally live in peace.